uh, I'm now going to telephone a colleague of mine, and he happens to be the director of research of the post office. And with a bit of luck, I'll be able to telephone him here. I'll have a go anyway. I'll switch it on, and you can hear the noise. And I'm now going to dial. You can hear it. He's answered, hello, Professor Bray. Hello, Geoffrey. How good to see you as well as hear you. Well, isn't it remarkable? Now, this is a surprise, you see. I pick up a telephone and now I see you sitting there. Professor Bray, look, um, we're going to want to talk to you a little more about this remarkable thing, the video phone. But I've just been talking about fibre optics and I think uh, that you at Dollis Hill are rather interested in fibre optics too, am I right? We are indeed, Geoffrey. I shouldn't be surprised one day, you know, to see these uh, view phone pictures coming into people's homes through a glass fibre. And not only that, of course, providing them with telephone communication and uh, vision communication as well. How very interesting. Well, now, look, this, uh, uh, the, somebody here, I think, would like to ask you a question. Yes, here we are. Now, if I press this button self-view, I believe, I can see myself and with a bit of luck, I'm going to see you too, so I'm going to try it. And you come down. Oh, there we can see each other. Uh, yeah, and you can still see us? Yes, I can see you fine. Well, isn't that remarkable? Now, you ask a question. We'll go back to uh, uh, Professor Bray. You ask, what was your question? Oh, yes, you want the phone, don't you? Of course. You can... Hello, sir. Hello, uh, Matthew. Uh, can you tell me when these uh, video phones will be in our homes? Well, the one we're using now, Matthew, is quite an experimental one, and it'll take a few years to turn this into a device which is low enough in cost for people to use on a large scale. But it will not be many years, I think, before a view phone will come into service. And how much will it cost? Well, that's rather a difficult question at this stage. Um, clearly, it's got to be a cost that people can afford uh, in terms of the service the view phone will provide. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matthew. Well, thank you very much, John. A couple of very awkward questions. When are things right in the research phase? <laughs> it is in the research phase, yes. uh, as you say, Geoffrey, but um, there are many um, developments of view phone that I think will interest people. Mm -hmm. We expect it to be able to provide um, clear, clear high-definition copies of documents, for example, and Andy. by pressing a button to get a printed copy when you want it. How very useful. For business people, you see, as well as uh, people in the home, uh, I think this is going to be a very important communication tool of the future. Well, I'm going to say thank you very much, John, for talking to us, and hang up. Goodbye. Thank you, Jeffrey. Goodbye. Switch it off.